Hey guys, my name is Tim. I'm with a Cardano staking pool called Target, ticker TRGT. I assume that you're here because you want to set up your own Cardano staking pool and uh, you probably got stuck somewhere along the way. I think that all of the instructions or manuals on the first page, they should start with the word so it did not work out. Um, and I assume that's why you're here. Uh, you probably started this process and you got stuck somewhere along the way. Um, and uh, you were looking for uh, a little help. Um, so I hope that my instructions will help you get through this process and uh, get your project off the ground. Um, in the meantime, I uh, uh, do hope that you guys, well, you obviously want to set up your own uh, staking pools. That's why you're here. But uh, in, in the process, while you're doing this, uh, I hope that you guys uh, can show some appreciation for the work that I'm doing. And um, um, I hope that you can stake your ADA at least for some time with um, our uh, staking pool and help it take off as well. Uh, it's important to know that uh, I donate uh, part of my uh, profits on a regular basis uh, to charities. And uh, that's my intention with a Cardano staking pool as well. Um, uh, we primarily donate to food banks and uh, um, uh, to charities that help very uh, sick children in remote parts of the world get the attention, uh, get the medical attention that they really uh, deserve. Uh, most of us take it for granted that uh, um, we have hospitals and we can just go there. We have medical insurance, but uh, we help those families that uh, just live in parts of the world where, where there's no hospitals and they need to uh, take their kids um, to a large city and they just don't have enough money um, uh, to do that and they don't have enough money to uh, for medical treatment. So without our help, it's really impossible for uh, th those guys to make it. So uh, by, by staking with us, uh, you're also doing a good deed. So without further ado, let's get uh, started with the instructions. Uh, this is going to be part one uh, of the series uh, on how to set up your Cardano staking pool. Uh, we're going to be using DigitalOcean. It's a, uh, a cloud service. Uh, here, here we can set up our uh, Unix uh, servers in the cloud. It's a hu uh, they, they, they have huge data centers. Um, so if you do it correctly, your information uh, is pretty safe there. And uh, you guys have pretty good uptime when you... Um, uh, do it in the cloud. Of course, you can set up a machine in your basement. It's going to be a lot, a lot cheaper, uh, but uh, you, you you will have to think about the battery backup. Uh, if you have power outages, uh, you will have to have constant uh, internet connection. So if you're confident that you can uh, supply all of that, then yeah, go ahead and set it up in uh, in your basement. If not, then you will have to do it on the cloud. And of course, it comes with uh, a lot more expenses than uh, setting it up uh, in your basement. But regardless, uh, the process is the same. Uh, so in part one of this tutorial, we're going to be uh, setting up uh, servers, uh, Unix servers. I'm going to show you how to do this. And um, so let's get started. So we're here in uh, uh, Digital Ocean. Uh, we're gonna go here uh, on top, and uh, let me just move this out of the way. We're gonna create a new droplet. We're gonna be using Ubuntu for uh, our server. I'm gonna be using the latest version. Uh, in here, we need to choose our plan. We're going to be uh, choosing basic plan, but m minimum requirements for Cardano nodes uh, is 4 gigs of RAM and 25 gigs of uh, hard drive space. Uh, CPU is really not needed. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, basic plans, they just have uh, minimum uh, RAM. So you will not be able to choose those four gigs uh, and here it has uh, 80 gigs of uh, space uh, we don't need that much but uh, we need four gigs so unfortunately it's going to cost us 24 dollars uh, for each server 
uh, we're going to select this option. Uh, you will need to have at least two servers to run your uh, own node. Um, ideally, you will need three machines. Uh, you will need two relays. Relays are going to be communicating with a network, and you will need one producer node, and producer node is going to be connecting to your relays. The reason why you need two relays is because if you're doing a service on one of the machines, you can uh, turn it off and uh, you can do whatever you want uh, on it and your um, staking pool is not going to be down because your um, no producer is still going to be communicating with the other relay um, and then you can uh, do maintenance uh, and you can pull it back up and uh, then do maintenance on on the other relay so ideally three machines so three machines times 24. Uh, in here, uh, if you scroll down, you will see uh, that DigitalOcean has many uh, data centers and you can choose any, any one of them. I'm going to be using uh, uh, Frankfurt. Uh, it's a little bit uh, closer to me to where I am. Uh, we're going to be here selecting monitoring. And uh, this guy's here, uh, authentication to your servers. This is really important. You really don't want to use uh, uh, passwords uh, because uh, passwords can be easily cracked. You want to use SSH keys. They're uh, almost impossible uh, to, uh, uh, to crack. Um, so for SSH keys, we will need... Uh, uh, to download a program called Putty. I already have a uh, link here open, but uh, you, uh, you can just type in Google uh, download Putty. Uh, it's going to take you over uh, to this link. And you will need uh, two programs from Putty. You will need uh, one. Um, is, is this one, Putty uh, uh, EXE. Uh, I'm running Windows 64-bit. Uh, so I downloaded uh, this version, and then you will also have um, you you will need an SSH key generator um, generator utility. I think that's it. Yep, uh, sixty four bit. So I downloaded both of those, and uh, so so let's uh, create our SSH key. With that SSH key, we're going to be connecting to our server. You will need to click Generate and uh, start moving your mouse. Uh, then this program is going to uh, generate random characters, and that's going to be your key. I already did this, and you want to secure your SSH key with uh, a very secure password so you want to have uh, uppercase lowercase you want to have numbers in there you want to have special characters in there and uh, make it at least uh, I don't know eight characters uh, the longer you make it the, the more secure it's going to be uh, and uh, after you did this process you want to copy your uh, SSH key and you want to save it uh, save the uh, public key and you want to save a private key. Then we go back to um, uh, Digital Ocean. We click here on new SSH key and what we just created, we're going to paste it right here and uh, give it a name. I just gave it test one. I just created it and it's right here. So to connect to this machine, we're gonna use uh, test one SSH key that we just created. So I'm gonna select that. And uh, here we're gonna name our server. So this is gonna be relay one. This is gonna be relay one and we'll wanna activate backups for uh, our servers. And we're going to click create a droplet. So while our droplet is being created, okay, our uh, machine has been created. So we're going to uh, open PuTTY. Uh, and we're going to connect to this machine. This is our public IP address. So we're going to copy that. We're going to paste it into PuTTY um, root. At, and uh, we're going to post paste our 
IP address. And then we're going to go here to SSH, authorize, and browse. And we're going to uh, select the SSH key that we created. Uh, it was uh, test private. I saved it under. Okay, and uh, we are ready to connect. So we're going to click open. Yes. So we logged in as root, and now we need to um, specify the password for the SSH key that we just created. Um, okay, so now we are logged in. This is our Ubuntu uh, server. It's a pretty easy process. Um, now um, we're going to get this machine ready for the installation of Cardano. Our next step is going to be uh, to uh, create a user. So uh, let's create a user called uh, Cardano. Okay, so we're gonna uh, give a password. So secure password once again in here. Full name, uh, we're just gonna do Cardano. We don't need to fill any of this information. Is the information correct? Yes. Okay, so we created a user. Now our next step is gonna be uh, to give uh, this user admin rights. Okay, so. Okay, we just gave uh, admin rights to our user. Now, we don't want to log in uh, using uh, a username and password with our user. We want to. Uh, activate SSH key for him as well for this user for user Cardano so let's do that right now we're going to create a directory where uh, where we're going to store our SSH key so let's do like this all right now we want to edit our uh, SSH key so okay so okay that's right so now we're gonna paste our SSH key I'm gonna take it from here and uh, I'm gonna paste it there. There we go. And uh, okay, now we're set with SSH keys. Uh, our next step uh, is going to be uh, let's create. Let's create a swap file. Just in case, we have a minimum uh, of four gigs, and that's uh, uh, a minimum requirement for Cardano. But just uh, uh, just in case, let's create a swap file. If it runs out of uh, RAM, it can uh, access a swap file. So uh, to create a swap file, we're going to need to run this command. Uh, let's allocate uh, I don't know let's do 10 10 gigs that's gonna be our uh, swap file um, we can verify that we uh, allocated the correct amount uh, to our swap file with this command and uh, you can see here that we uh, allocated 10. 10 gigs. Now we're going to enable our uh, swap file. Going to run this command. Correct. Uh, so, so, so we're going to make this file accessible uh, only to the root 
Yeah, and uh, we're going to verify the permissions that we just set. All right. So we can uh, now mark mark the swap file. That is correct. And now we're going to be enabling the swap file. And now we're going to uh, check and make sure that the swap file is um, available. OK, swap file 10 gigs. And we're going to make uh, the swap file uh, now permanent. Otherwise, uh, when you reboot, you're going to lose it. That's about it. We don't need to do anything else. Uh, by the way, if you guys uh, want to uh, follow those instructions and uh, um, you really can't see the commands, um, I have um, instructions. Let me pull it from uh, my second monitor here. Um, Okay, so if you go to uh, target target pool, you go to our website, and here you can click on build your own stake pool, and it's going to take you to the instructions on uh, uh, how to build um, your own staking pool. So right now I just did this in, in Russian, um, and I'm going to be doing this in English, uh, of course. So uh, there's going to be two versions in here, but you click uh, on those instructions and uh, everything is uh, detailed in here. So everything that we uh, go through in the um, in these videos uh, is going to be in here. So it's, uh, it's very well documented. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop here for part one. Uh, we created a uh, Ubuntu server, and uh, we created a Cardano user. We gave him uh, admin permissions, and we also created a swap file just in case uh, if we uh, run out of RAM so our servers can uh, uh, access a swap file. Um, we're going to stop here, and we're going to continue in part two uh, of this tutorial. And there we're going to set up, uh, uh, we, we're going to prepare the server for the installation of the Cardano node. Thanks for watching.